So Lambda has something called function versions, and the idea is uh, to allow you to apply versioning to your Lambdas. So imagine you needed to deploy a, a new version of your Lambda just for beta testing, uh, and you didn't want to affect your production uh, version, uh, you could use versioning for that. Or let's say you wanted to roll back to a previous version, so you had a history of all the changes you made over time. Um, that is another use case for versioning. And so to set up versioning is very easy. All you got to do with your Lambda is publish a new version. Then you're going to name or give a description to that version so we don't forget. There's this thing called dollar sign latest, which is always a way of pointing to the latest version of your Lambda. And then uh, you can actually go and look at the history of all your different versions and see when they were published. Uh, and then you can see those descriptions. So it makes it really clear um, you know, what all those versions do. Uh, one thing to point out is that every time you publish a version of a Lambda, it has its own unique ARN, Amazon resource name. Uh, and so we have version one, version two, and then uh, dollar sign latest points to the latest version. Um, and the latest version is, it's not labeled three, but it technically is version three. Um, but when you make your next one, that would become three. And then the, the one that is current is latest. So one more thing to touch on about function versions is talking about ARNs for Lambda. So when you reference a Lambda, you're using the ARN, which stands for Amazon resource name. And a Lambda has two initial versions. We have qualified and unqualified. So what is the difference between these two? It's really um, the end of the ARN. So uh, here we have dollar sign latest. So you see how there's a colon. So that colon could be dollar sign latest or colon uh, three, which would indicate the version number. And then unqualified is just where you have nothing on the end. So when you are pragmatically referencing uh, your Lambda, so you use an ARN, uh, you can use unqualified, and that always will point to the latest version. Um, but the trade-off is here is that you cannot use an alias with an unqualified ARN. So that is uh, the drawback there. And you're wondering, well, what is aliases? And that's what we're going to talk about next.